Team Global, what's going on? It's your boy Lil AJ Dre, and welcome back to another episode of Boss Talk, you dig? Team Global, Team Global, welcome, welcome back, welcome to another episode of Boss Talk, you dig? All right, man, this episode is so special to me. I think so many of y'all can get so much out of what I'm about to say and what I'm about to give to y'all because as I look back and as I zoom out and as I just look at my life and how far I came and what I done been through and all the things, I got a whole story I'm about to tell y'all. This boss talk is about to be one of the best boss talks. I'm standing right here on a block that I that I came to, one of the first blocks I ever came to that just exposed my mind to something that I just couldn't even, things I've seen on this block I have never seen in real life until I got on this block so now that i'm on this block i want to share this experience with y'all and i also want to share this block with y'all so come on man walk with me let's go let's go on this journey and let's talk about everything that has happened everything that has went on that has gotten me up to this point to the point to where i'm doing the things that i now want to do i'm in a place that i now want to be so the story i want to tell y'all about it was a moment in my life where i feel like i lost every single thing like everything that i thought was important everything that i, I could imagine these things were my core. These things were the things that was inside of me that just every day, like man, these was loved ones. These were rituals. This was a lifestyle that at the drop of a dime, at the drop of a dime, literally just vanished. So I want to share this story. So this goes back to me when I was in college, right? I was playing college football. If y'all don't know that about Dre, I played 17 years of football. Did it all pal growing up in Detroit, made it to college. So I got a tattoo on my chest right here. I got this tattoo because I was like, yo, if I ever make it to, to college football, I'll get a tattoo that's dedicated to college football. I finally made it to college football, y'all. Got a um, scholarship to Northwood University had some situations there to where it just didn't sit right it just wasn't home i could feel it it wasn't a happy place it was in midland anybody in that's from michigan or whoever been to midland michigan should know about goddamn midland and know you know it's not a place where people with melanated skin can just go and um, feel comfortable went to northwood transferred to saginaw valley and at saginaw valley i thought this was going to be my home i thought this was going to be the place that was going to give me the opportunity give me the the the, the desire I, I just wanted i just wanted coaches like high school Y'all, that's all I really wanted. I just wanted somebody to care for me like the coaches cared for me in high school. I just wanted somebody to work with me and because I would have been great. I would have been more than great. I knew I was capable of. I just didn't have that 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 connection with the coaches. I didn't I didn't have that when I went to Saginaw Valley. When I went to Saginaw, first thing that happened, I hit adversity. I tore my shoulder when I first got there. The crazy thing is, I'm strong-minded and strong-willed. So after I tore my shoulder, I bounced right back. I came back. I actually rushed my shoulder injury. So for all of y'all who like ever seen my videos and be like, he got a knot on his shoulder or he got something poking out his shoulder that actually came from college football when I um I, I tried to catch an interception and I fell on it. I tore my um AC tendon. So fast forward, tore my shoulder. After I tore my shoulder, I get back into the process of getting in, working out. I actually get on the field, I actually start playing. And this was very important. This was very exciting because I'm like, finally, I get the opportunity. I felt like I, I, I've arrived. Not too long, we finished that season. Going into the next season, I ran into some to, to some problems. And anybody that's from Saginaw Valley know about Kozags and how Kozags did everybody at Saginaw Valley. And I was just another victim. And I'm not sure if he didn't like how I carried myself, the confidence in which I carried myself, the confidence into which I believed in myself. I'm not sure as to why he didn't believe in me the way I, I felt he should have. I'm not here to kind of go nor there or there. So whatever it is, I don't know why he made his decision, but somehow, some way he'd say that I didn't have enough study hall hours and if you a college student a college student athlete you know how much uh, how important those study hall hours are if you don't got those study hall hours clocked in man you can't even play you know what I'm saying so I kept my grades up they never had an issue with my grades they never had to talk to me with my grades no nothing none of that it just hurt my feelings that like yo there's so many kids out here failing that you actually got playing you don't even got to worry about my grades why is it that you worried about study hall hours and i got enough study hall hours that led to me actually getting kicked off the football team y'all not even kicked off the football team 
but I couldn't go back to practice until I could have proof of, of, of study hall hours. Then they wouldn't allow me proof of study hall hours until the end of spring ball. And it was just a big mess, man. It was just a big mess. And at that point, I lost to me was, <laughs> that was my baby, man. That was my life. That was everything I knew. How many of y'all got that, huh? How many of y'all got something right now that you think you can't live without? That you think you can't survive another day without? That you think you can't breathe without? You can't eat without? You can't sleep without? It's your outlet. It's the thing that you do in order to get yourself up in the morning, in order to get yourself out. What is it? The thing that make you look cool. The thing that you good at. How many of y'all got this in y'all life? Or someone in your life that you feel like you can't go without? Someone in your life that you feel like you can't wake up without? You feel like you can't breathe without? You can't live without? You can't go without? You need this person. You need to wake up to this person. You need to text this person. You need to call this person. You need to FaceTime this person. You need to go to the gym. What is this thing, this one thing in your life that make you you? And if it was taken away, you wouldn't have that purpose to have that life. I know throughout the coronavirus and all of this shit going on, a lot of y'all got some shit stripped away from y'all. I know y'all did. That's why I'm bringing this story to you because it's so passionate. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to hear me. This is my passion. This was my passion. This is something that I couldn't live without. I couldn't live without this. I couldn't go without this. I couldn't even imagine this. I couldn't even imagine going a day without football. And then one day, it was wiped away. One day, it was wiped away. And y'all don't understand. I was lost. It was a feeling of loss. It was a feeling of, what do I do? I'm not important. I'm not attractive. I'm not fulfilled. How do I get this feeling? What do I do to get this feeling? And then as soon as I felt that feeling, as soon as I got to the lowest of lows, as soon as I got to the lowest of lows, I got hit one more time, my grandma passed away. <sighs> my grandma passed away, y'all. My baby, my love, the love of my life, the love of my, man, she was my world. She left me at the same time that I already was at rock bottom. See, this what, this what the devil gonna try to do. He gonna try to break you. He gonna try to break you. In a time to where you already vulnerable. You already vulnerable. You already feeling like, damn, can't nothing else go wrong? I've been trying, I've been pushing through. As me as a college athlete, I was pushing through it. I was grinding, I was talking to the coaches. I was getting it, I was, tr I was doing everything I can to get back on the field, but it didn't work. When I was on my lowest lows, I lost my grandma. This was the hardest thing that I think I ever had to do. She was on her deathbed. Not even her deathbed, it was before that. And she was moaning, she was crying, she was hurting, and she told me to be strong. She told me to be strong, and it fucked my head up. How can somebody who's sitting here moaning, crying, and hurting tell me to be strong? How is somebody who's going through all of this telling me to be strong? So I pushed through that semester. I pushed through that. I got a three point sum GPA would end up being one of the highest GPAs I ever got. Right after that, I had to think to myself, what is it that I'm good at? What is it that I'm valuable at? What is it? I went into party promotion. I realized, yo, I like to party. I like to be around people. I like to talk to people. How can I make money on this? How can I monetize this? How can I make this a lifestyle? Why? Because this is something I like to do. I don't want to settle for a career. I want to do something I like to do. How can I do something I like to do? And go, come on, y'all. Y'all hearing me? I said I wanted to go on party promotion. I went in a party promotion and ended up bringing out 3,000 college students. My Instagram ended up taking off and ended up gaining 10,000 followers on Instagram throwing these parties. After that, I had the attention. I had the attention of about 10,000 people, so I knew the party game, people start stealing from me. People start fucking up my money. People start playing with me. So instead of going into some violent shit, into some street stuff, I chose to be smart. I chose to be smart. I chose to use my head. I chose to go in a smart direction. I chose to go ahead and start my own YouTube channel, Dre TV. That's what it was. And I took the attention, the 10,000 people that I got while throwing those events, I took the attention and I transferred the attention to the YouTube. And then my second video went viral and then I kept it going. I kept it going. I stayed consistent throughout it all throughout everything. I wanna bring this message to you to say, come on y'all, I know, I know y'all done got something taken up out your life. I know it's something that you had to get rid of. I know it's one thing that you had to stop doing. I know it's something deep down in your heart, man. You had to give that shit up and you mad as hell. You mad as hell you had to give it up. You hurt, How, why did I, why, why? It was my one outlet. It was the one thing I had to do. She was my one outlet. He was my one outlet. They was my friends. How could they stop us? How could they stop us? What's going on? What's going on? What's the problem? Why is this happening? I know y'all felt like that, and I felt like that. 
But at that point, you got to look deep inside yourself and see its value in there. It's value in you. It's power in you. It's strength in you. God got a purpose for you. God put you here for a reason. God got something for you. God got something for you. And through all this bullshit that's going on in the world, all this shit that's made to distract you, God got something for you. And yeah, he might have took it from you. He might have took something from you. He might have took something else from you. He might have took your job from you. He might have took your girl from you. He might have took your man from you. He might have took your love was from you. He might have took some friends from you. He might have took a family member from you. But you still here. You still here and you still got it. You still here and you still got it. So I need y'all to understand, you might lose everything. And it might seem to you at that moment that you have lost everything. But I guarantee you, whatever you need is fucking inside of you. I'm guarantee you, whatever you need is inside of you. And if you stay true to yourself, if you stay true to you, you can make it up out them trenches. You can make it up out that storm. You can make it up out the darkness. If you stay true to you and what the hell you believe in and what the hell, man, manifest it, manifest it, believe in it and go in it. If you could do that, if you could do that, you can have whatever in this earth. Here, come on. I want to show y'all this. Come here, Kane. I want to show them this. When I first got here, I didn't know nothing about mansions. I didn't know nothing about fuck a mansion. I didn't know nothing about compounds. What you about to see right here is a compound. Now, I don't know who owned this compound. I don't know who owned it, but somebody do. How I know? I've been here so much, people moving in stuff. They've been moving in TVs. They've been moving in everything. You see they putting stuff? Can't go right here, right here, and at least try to get a shot over the gate. I know it's a little, a little hectic. What are you? I, I hope that if they got the intercom, I hope they can hear me. Get a little B-roll shot over the gate real quick and let them people see what it is. Let the people see the success that you can have. Let the people see that it's possible. Let them see that it's real. This is a real house. It's made out of real substance. It's tangible. You can touch it. Why can't you make this your reality? Why can't you make this your life? What is the problem? What's holding you here? And I guarantee you let go. Come back on me. Come back on me. You let go of the people and the things I don't even really want to say let go. Sometimes you lose the things that you think is important. Sometimes you lose the things that you feel you can't live without. But I guarantee you, this is real. This is real, y'all. This is real life. And you can get it. And it might take, God might have to take something from you. He might have to take it from you. He might have to take what you thought was good from you because you don't know what's good. God knows what's good for you. He know more than you know. And you got to trust that process. You got to trust him and know. You got to trust him and know that, yes, I might think this is good, but he might have a better plan. Oh, he might have a better plan for me. I wanted to bring this to y'all today because at this moment, when I lost football, when I lost my grandma, I had to go deep in my faith. I had to go deep in myself. And I have to understand I'm more than this. I'm more than this. I live in more abundance than this. I am abundance. I live it. I walk it. I talk it. I am it. I breathe it, everything, blood, sweat, tears through it. I just want to come in here to say, I've been hit with so many different left jabs, right jabs, uppercuts, body shots. I've been hit with so many different things, so many different obstacles in my life, and I'm pushing through it. And now I'm here, I'm here, and I'm not in there yet, but I'm gonna be. I'm not in there yet, but I'm gonna be. And I'ma show y'all that you can fucking do this. I'm not no motherfucking abnormal, just advanced superhero type person. I'm just a motherfucking regular nigga with a lot of fucking wheel. I got a lot of fucking wheel. I got a lot of fucking shit. I got that mm in me. You know what I'm saying? I got that mm, that high in me. You know? You know? And I'm equipped with it. And that's what's gonna keep me going. That's what's gonna. That's what's gonna make sure I'm in there. That's what's gonna. That's. I'm already in there. When you, when you believe in something, when you manifest in something, you gotta understand, you gotta walk it before it's even possible. So this is another episode. I hope this touched somebody. Ooh, I hope this touched somebody and this meant something to somebody. It's another episode of Boss Talk. If you like this style of Boss Talk, if you like how I brought this to you, first of all, Kane, I appreciate you for recording this. And I also wanna put inside of this Boss Talk, great job this week, man. And we got through this shit. And this is the final clip of this week. So. I want to say that to him as well. But other than that, make sure in this moment, if you feel like you lost everything, if you feel like there's nothing left, <laughs> understand this in you, man. Understand this in you. It's your boy Lil' AJ Dre, man.
and we out here. Ah.